Hey guys, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, I will do a walkthrough of the donate template from our site library. Let's get started. We will begin by looking at the home page. Let's click on the first container. So here we have a shape divider, which can be configured under shapes. Then of course we have a background image with a gradient overlay. The size of this container is determined by the padding. Inside the container, we have a grid wrapper with a container followed by two headline blocks, then a buttons block with one button in it. The grid wrapper is needed here, so we can set the container to 50% so that this content will only be on the left side of the page. Let's move on to the second container. So this container here overlaps with the first container and that's done by using the negative margin here. Also the outer Z index is set to 2 so this content goes on top of the previous container. Inside this container there's only one headline block with an icon. Moving on to the next container. So that's this big one right here. We have two shapes, one for the top and one for the bottom. And inside the container, we have a grid wrapper with four containers block. Each occupies 25%. So the first and third container only has a background image, while the second and fourth container has a headline block followed by a paragraph block, then a buttons wrapper with one button in it. The next container is also quite simple. We only have a headline block with a short code block that's displaying content from WP Show Post. And this list can be modified here. Moving on, the next container here is quite similar to the first container. So we have two shapes one for the top and one for the bottom. Inside the container, we have a grid wrapper. Again, this is needed so we can use a container that occupies 40% and keep the content on one side. Then we have a headline block with a border, followed by two paragraph blocks. And then the last one for this page, we have a container with a grid wrapper and two containers inside. The first one has a static image, while the second one has three headline blocks. Let's move on to the next page. We will ignore this section here that's the page hero, which I'll go through later. The first container here has a headline block with an icon, followed by a grid wrapper with four containers in it. 
each occupies 50%. And inside each container, we have a headline block with left border, followed by a paragraph block. The second container, again, we have two shapes, one for the top, one for the bottom, and then again, a grid wrapper with a container inside and multiple headline blocks that creates the list here. And then the last section is just a container with a headline block and a buttons block. Let's move on to the next page. So I won't go through the first section here, it's quite straightforward. And we will go through this section here, specifically the grid here. So we have a grid wrapper followed by three containers each occupies 33%. Then the key here is that we have a background image with a background color. So you can change the image opacity Moving on to the next page, which is block. Uh, nothing too special here. Then we go to the contact page. So we have a grid wrapper. The left side has some information and the right side is a form from happy form. And that can be configured again under forms. Lastly, we have the styles page that shows you the styles and colors used in this template. Next, we will take a look at the elements involved. The first one is the footer template. So it has a shape, And inside, we have a grid wrapper with four containers. The first one has a static image. The second one has a headline block followed by the social icon buttons. The third one has three headline blocks that are generally links. Then the last one just has a button again. This element is assigned to the entire site and you can see it in the footer here. Let's skip the merge element for now and take a look at the navigation donate button. So this one, it's simple, just a button assigned to the entire site, hooked into after navigation and you can see it here. Next, we have the block page hero page headers. So this one has a container with a shape at the bottom and a static background image with image opacity, of course. Inside of it, we have an H1 dynamic title that displays the page title. The display rule of this element is assigned to the entire site, excluding the front page and single post. So that will be these ones here. Next, we have the post header. So this one, it's using a dynamic background image. So it pulls the feature image from the single post 
and use it as the background image of the container. Then we have the H1 title, followed by post date and post author name. You can see this in all of single posts. Now the merge header element here just has the merge option turned on. So that merges your page hero with the header and navigation. It is used throughout the entire site. Lastly, we have the post width layout element that sets the single post content width to 800 pixels. So you can see that it's narrow here comparing to a static page. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the additional CSS involved. So the first section here is for the navigation hover effect. Then we have some CSS that adds border radius to the images. So feature image, static image, and then WP show post image here. Then we have the text decoration underline for the read more button. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.